Yeah. Cross it. That's kind of a cry. He touched it. I've scored a cross technically, but I don't know if it's gonna count. It's one of those EA ones. I touched it. That's the that's the problem. <gasps> Perisic! Oh, he's on! Oh, what is that? That's a eh. Perisic. Yes! Yes! He's so bad! Ah, I knew you were coming! You're making me mad, motherfucker! I'm not doing anything! Motherfucker, I'm about to whoop your ass! Politano. Oh, this is a banging crossing opportunity! It's the worst question I've ever seen. Kako will get a goal though. He saved it. Oh, I got a penalty. Perisic! Yes! Come on, Perisic, it's your chance. Come on, boys, let's go. What are you doing, Noya? Ah! No! What are you doing? You missed it. What was it I watched? Like, Br Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I watched literally like two episodes and I was immediately finding it funny. Kaka, please score this. Oh, Kaka. Good, good finish, great start. All right, we've got a rage quit. Three out of eight for the midfielder goal. That's a great start. Wait, what? It counted. The cross counted. Right, I'm getting my pizza. I'm fucking starving. Holy shit. Two hours later. No, but it would have just ruined the actual series. It's entertaining. It would have been short term. I'd rather just leave the amazing work of art. Cross! Please! It's Glenn! Come on! I'm so stoked, my dudes. This video's gonna be so weird, because one minute I'm talking about Breaking Bad, and the next I'm screaming cross. Politano, I'm seeing your Perisic. What a pass! Perisic. No, he's got no pace, this Perisic card. Oh my god, he feels so, so... Oh my god, he's done remarkably well. Please shoot that. Oh, Perisic, I take it all back! Oh my god, I've got to wear that kit to represent the EA boys. Right, seven out of eight midfielder goals already. I am literally a legend. Two assists and two... I've literally played two games and got most of this done. That is ridiculous. Oh, what a ball. Oh, come and cross that. That is a risk. Oh, Perisic! I didn't know it had. I didn't know you had it in you. You underestimate my power. Oh, that's a crossing off tune. That's the worst to Paris it. Oh my god, he hit the bar. How do he hit the bar? Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at some of this progress we've made. I think I've done the midfielder goals. I'm always convinced. Yeah, midfielder goals. Uh, I didn't get a cross. Wait, didn't I score a cross in that game? No, I swear I scored a cross in that game. No, Paris it just goal was no. Paris it just goal was a volley. There was a cross. What the fuck? That was the most legit one I've scored! You're killing me. You are breaking my heart. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, okay, fine. I, I, I should should always expect that from EA. Is that on time? Cross, cross, cross Michelle. Cross! It got to be! Thank you. That's a cross. One more. One more needed for that. If that doesn't count, I'm literally gonna break my fucking window. No, no, what's actually happening? This is the second or third time it's happened. I just, dude, I... <laughs> Why aren't these crosses happening? I'm literally scoring crosses and it's not happening. Why doesn't that fucking count? Right, we need a, we need a backup plan. I need a striker that can score headers. Hello, motherfucker. Lovely. Cross it. Back post to Immobile! Fuck it! It. It's beautiful. It's got to be. Thank you. Perisic, left foot. Oh my lord. Perisic has been actually really good. Can I tell you something? I love it. Go on. Bit of oh, Immobile! I don't know if that's going to count. I really fucking hope and pray that counts. I think this guy's rage quitting. Oh my god, alright, come on. Oh yes, okay, 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 yes. Oh, okay, okay. Just got to get one more goal and one more win. Uh, internet! Not really the time. I need one more Croatian goal and you're really gonna do this to me. No! Okay, that was a complete accident, but I will take it. The Perisic goal. Come on, that's brilliant. Come on. Alright, we've just gotta win now. That's all we got to do is win. I'm lagging like a bitch. I, if I score this, I don't know how. I've literally scored that with the worst lag. Uh, internet, can you please bear with me for one game? Yes, please score it. Come on, please pause it and just get. Oh my god, please, yes, please leave. You don't want to leave. Yes. 
I like this. I want this inside of me. So I just need to do squad battles and it's done. Do it later tonight, but I'm glad that is fucking over. Thank fuck. All right, guys and gentlemen, welcome to the story. Oh my god! Oh my god. All right, boys and girls, so we have got the second set of headliners here today. I'm going to be totally honest with you, boys and girls. A little bit disappointing with this one. A little bit disappointing. However, boys and girls, it is not all that bad. There are a few highlights to this one. There's, there's a couple of little nuggets. For one, in the SBCs, there was a cheeky little Tammy Abraham. As you guys can see, uh, I did do that. I'll, I'll talk about my team in a second. But uh, I don't think it will be out by the time I get this video out, which is obviously why I'm not doing a review on him. I'm doing it on Orsic because it will be out all week. That is another nugget. That Orsic card looks amazing. Obviously, you guys saw me grind out for the Orsic wasn't actually that bad in the end other than the fact that I had to freaking do loads of more crosses than I should have it just for some reason didn't count you can't scare me with this <laughs> Other than that, it was pretty easy. It really wasn't that bad. It was much, much, much easier than like Josh King, where you had to do volleys and stuff. Pretty, pretty comfortable this one. But more than anything, boys and girls, a lot of these headliners are just really expensive for some reason. Like I was looking at some of them, and there are a couple of good ones. Like this Timo Werner, I think is pretty good. Uh, he was about 650k yesterday, but uh, he may have gone down. If he's come down, then I'd say it's pretty. I'd say that's this is a pretty good one if he comes down. No, he seems to be okay. He's come. No, he has come down. To be fair. All right, 500. You know what? 500k that team Ovana. I'm gonna say that's fucking worth that, you know? That's worth 500k. I mean, this card is bound to get more upgrades. It's a really good card already. Nearly, well, not, I wouldn't say perfect. The dribbling could do with a little bit of work, but really good dribbling still. The finishing stats are amazing. Pace is obviously ridiculous. This is more like it. Properly filthy. Another one that I did notice was pretty good was this Raheem Sterling. He was about, I think, 600, maybe 700k yesterday. Now he's come down as well. So they're all coming down in price, which is good. But uh, yeah, they were really expensive yesterday. I was looking at ones like Dinier that you wouldn't think would be that expensive, and he was like, 400k. I was like, what the fuck? And then there's the headliner Kappa, which I thought was going to be like a 60k cheap one, which I was going to consider reviewing because I thought, you know, it's going to be really cheap. And uh, he was like 200k. <laughs> <laughs> in his first informs like 30k. I, I just couldn't understand it. So hopefully they have all come down in price now. That would be that would be good. Yeah, okay, this Raheem Sterling's come down a lot. Holy shit, he's really cheap now. About 420k. That's that's a very good. He's bound to get upgrades. Yeah, I, I would say that one's probably worth it as well. So I might review Sterling. I might review Werner in the week. So uh, look out for that, boys and girls. So you guys can let me know uh, if there's anyone else you want me to review. I'm looking at those two specifically. Anyway, boys and girls, we put together a cheeky little team with Orsic and Abraham. Oh! Oh. Ew, dude. What the fuck? You guys are probably looking at me a little bit weirdly. You know, some of these choices of players. I'll, I'll explain it. I'll explain everything. So I guess we start off with this left back. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be playing him here. Orsic is just a bitch to get into a team. So uh, I've put this guy in just to get the green link. We're going to sub him off for Mbabu. I need Genie Wijnaldum to play striker. Obviously, I need a centre mid to play in the 4 one 2 2 So that's why Genie's there and obviously gets all the chemistry and stuff. Fabian Delph is here because I need an English centre mid. I could go with Oxlade Chamberlain, but I always use Ox. And the last time I used Fabian Delph, he was really surprisingly good. So I just thought, you know, give him another chance. He was, he was, he's been good every time I've used him. I actually really like Taif Chong in this game. I, I've only used him a few times. I don't think I've played too many games with him. Yeah, I've played 37 games, but I actually really like this card. Whenever I've used him, he's been pretty decent. He's got really good, really good stats as well. Decent pace. Uh, shooting stats are pretty nice, and the dribbling is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty amazing to be honest. Wan is here because I need an English right back. Uh, I'll explain why it's not Trent Alexander-Arnold in a second. And obviously we've got Rob McNally and Smaldini there. Uh, Rob McNally is a new addition to my club. I will again explain this. In fact, I think I should probably explain this now. Boys and girls, I've kind of changed my, uh, I've kind of changed my team quite considerably. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Okay, boys and girls, so this is the main team, and again, you're probably looking at me weirdly, like these, these some of these player choices. You know, where the fuck is Trent Alexander-Arnold, Mitchell? What's going on? So basically, boys and girls, I sold my Trent Alexander-Arnold. I did love a bit of Trent. He was really, really good. He had two amazing weekend leagues for me, and I, I genuinely had a lot of fun with him. But Future Stars is probably around the corner, and I do fear that he will come down in price quite considerably when Future Stars hit because I, I just feel like everyone's going to be selling all their team of the years and, and just selling all their players, basically. So I've sold him now so I don't make too much of a loss. I mean, I'd already made a pretty considerable loss. I think I lost like 150k on him plus tax. So uh, I'd already made a fat loss. I didn't want to lose any more. So I thought I'd get rid of him and I just I had a little think and I and I, I wanted to use this Diego Costa as a centre mid. Uh, I'm sorry. Is that a joke? What? 
that. I was using him as a centre mid in the Haaland video, and I, I just thought he was amazing, and, and I felt like he was pretty much as good as Trent was there. He, he did everything that Trent did in terms of his finishing and shooting and stuff, uh, and was okay defensively. He was, wasn't quite as good as Trent defensively, but he was, it was good enough, you know, and I just thought Diego Costa can fill, uh, can fill Trent Alexander-Arnold's boots, if that makes sense. So yeah, I've played a little bit of weekend league with him, and uh, he hasn't been as good as Trent, but he's been okay, you know. I definitely think Trent is a lot better, especially defensively, uh, and I just feel like uh, Trent's dribbling and pace were just, I, I could maybe underestimated how important Trent was, was to this team, because I'm definitely not playing quite as well as I was without him, but uh, Diego Costa's been fine, he's been very good. Not quite as good as he was in the video, but it's still decent. As for the defensive changes, uh, obviously I was using Upa Makanu and Kanate with Neuer and goal, uh, um, who did I have right back? I always had Trent, obviously, and uh, and I had Russell on here. I kind of felt like Uber Makani was letting me down a little bit in the first few games of Weekend League. I played about seven or eight games with him, and I, I just wasn't playing well in Weekend League. And uh, maybe it wasn't Uber Makani's fault, but I, I sold Uber Makani and changed my defense because I just it just wasn't working. So yeah, I've gone with the Serie A boys. We get to use this Tommy Asu, who's an absolute beast. We've got Malqui there. Donnarum is really good in goal. Rob McNally's been okay. I haven't loved him, but obviously I do need the green link to Tio Hernandez. Tio Hernandez is great, but yeah, Rob McNally. He's okay. He has a really good card. I was kind of hoping he'd be a little bit better so far, but uh, he's, he's been okay. You know, he's, he's, he's been decent. Okay. So yeah, that's all the changes to my main team. Obviously, if you guys noticed my coin total, I've got a lot of coins for future stars. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to future stars when that comes. That should be fairly soon. But that, that's pretty much why I made those changes. I felt like I just want to have some fun as well. You know, I wanted to try Diego Costa out. Uh, I, I wanted to to mix it up a little bit. Just you know, because I've been getting a little bit a little bit stale with the main team. So I, I changed it up. Uh, mixed it around and it's it's worked out okay at the minute you know everything's going pretty good but anyway back on topic to the Orsic card should we jump into the in game so boys and girls starting things off high high work rates four star weak foot and three star skill moves I'm a little bit fearful with the high high work rates because I'm playing him as a striker I don't want him dropping back but whenever I've used high high work rate strikers they've generally been okay so three star skill moves is obviously going to piss some of you guys off but not me but other than the three star skill moves boys and girls this card is amazing like it, it's nearly perfect the pace is disgusting the shooting stats are ridiculous 93 long shots 87 finishing <laughs> Incredible. Trailing stats are very, very nice. 99 agility and 97 balance are... Uh, that's giving me some horniness. 84 in-game dribbling is okay. It's not particularly amazing, but with the sniper chem style, obviously that gets uh, boosted very nicely. And he has really nice stamina. So overall, this card looks sick, especially for a free card, and it wasn't even that bad. The objectives weren't bad at all. This is 100% worth your time. Like, it just wasn't even that hard. It literally took me like two hours, including the squad battles. Was really very, very easy. For me, he's probably just going to be a super sub because, you know, he's, he's a bit of a dick to get into a team. You, you kind of have to lock him in with icons or Croatians and the league is not very usable. If you do play a 4-3-3 you can obviously lock him in with an Icon CM and an Icon Striker. That's what I was going to do but obviously that would mean I'd need to use Tammy Abraham as a centre mid and that's just not not ideal really because then I have to move him back up to Striker afterwards. It's just annoying. But if you do have a centre mid Icon and an Icon Striker Orsic getting locked in is pretty fucking good to be honest. Anyway lads, I will switch into a 4-1-2-1-2 I will play Fabian Delph as a CDM uh, I will play Sadov and Wijnaldum as centre mids. Chong will play Cam and then Abraham and Orsic will play up front. I will also sub on Mbabu as a left back because I don't particularly want to play a 76 centre back uh, a left back, not really. You know how I feel. Why would you say that? And yeah, fingers crossed some wins. Hopefully this Orsic is good. Let's jump into game number one. Sadov. See you, Tammy Abraham. That's a great touch. He should finish that. Are you sure about that? Um, Tammy? Uh. Uh. <clears throat> um. Um, what the fuck? Well, that's fucking not good. I see you, Orsic. I'm gonna play why now, then back to Orsic. I don't know how that fuck that's happened, but this should be a goal. I, it's not where I aimed it. Oh my god, what a finish from Seedorf. That was a fucking amazing finish. Where the fuck is my defense? What the fuck? This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. We'll play Orsic. Oh, come on. Orsic, finish that, lad. <laughs> Great finish. On the left peg, on the weak foot. Great run as well. Good stuff. Very nice. Oh, oh. Seed off. Se come on. Orsic. What is this guy's defense doing? Easy sweat to Tammy. Very nicely done. Orsic with two assists and a goal. Having a great game. Damn, boy! This 
Smaldini. Oh my god, Smaldini, what a ball. Where the fuck is this guy's defence? I'm genuinely confused. It's somehow worse than mine. Tammy, you got to bury that. Well, overall, boys and girls, a great start for Orsic. A really good performance, getting himself two assists and a goal. His finish was really nice on the left foot. Really good finish from him. The assists, I could have probably, uh, you know, gone on, on on my own with Orsic. But, you know, I obviously got the sweat for Tammy. And I actually don't remember the first assist. I was It was the backwards pass to, to Sadov, which was a great finish. So, yeah, a great performance from Orsic. Really good stuff. Again, like, for a free card, like, this is a no-brainer. I don't even feel like I need to talk about this card. I feel like most of you guys are probably going to do this card. Like, I have to say, Tammy Abraham, so far, not the best. Feels a little bit clunky dribbling-wise. Missed a couple of really good chances, so I'm not quite feeling Tammy Abraham. Not that it really matters now, because I don't think the SBC is still out. But if it is, uh, maybe don't do it. But, uh, I don't know, maybe that was just a shit performance. Anyway, boys and girls, hopefully more of the same from Orsic. Let's jump into game number two. Lovely bit of dribbling. Hello. Long shot. Ooh, good dribbling though. And out back. Nice. Babu. Great ball to Orsic. Oh, I thought I was in, boys. I like it. Oh, Orsic. Gone back to Chong. Love that. Need options, boys. Orsic. Fred it. Seedorf. Please. God damn it. Delph. He's actually so solid. What a pass that is. Tammy's done remarkably well. That is beautiful. Tammy the finish. <laughs> the football there was amazing. Fabian Delph with an amazing tackle. Frids it up to Orsic. Orsic just little one twos between. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Fucking love it. Oh, Sadorf, what have you done? Where's my defend? No, 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 boys. Well, that was absolutely awful. It's a nice long shot. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No. Orsic, nice pass. Keep running, lad. Keep running. Go to Chong. Great ball. Chong Finesse! Come on, Tave Chong! 2-2. Two, two. I love it. Ball from Fabian Dow. Oh, Orsic! Where's this guy's defence? Please, Orsic! It's all on you now! Right foot! Fuck! Damn it! Oh, we could have won that, man. We really could have. Well, overall, boys and girls, Orsic was pretty amazing. You know, he felt really, really good. His dribbling was amazing. Felt really good. You could really feel that agility and balance. His shooting was amazing. That long shot. That long shot would have been so good. It was millimetres, man. But what impressed me the most, I have to say, was his playmaking. He was just really good at, at passing, particularly. He was just getting loads of assists and just felt really good at just finding passes and stuff. Based on those two games, I would have to say his ideal position would probably be the cam position. I feel like this would be the perfect cam. If you bring him on uh, in weekend league as a sub, a cam position would be perfect for him. He felt really, really good. Passing, pace, dribbling, shooting. He had it all. He was really good. So yeah, it goes without saying, get this card. Really wasn't that hard to get, you know, other than the fact that the crosses are a little bit broken and sometimes doesn't count. I don't know what counts as a cross and what doesn't for EA for some reason. You know, I felt like I was scoring pretty reasonable crosses and it wasn't counting. Other than that though, it's fairly easy. You know, you just gotta win some games with Croatian players. Uh, I used my Perisic, um, the Perisic, what is it, season objective card. But obviously, there is Rebic that goes for about 8k at the minute, so a little bit expensive. But there are cards you can use. Uh, Modric, for example, if you've got him in your teams and stuff. So, again, not the hardest to get. Definitely worth it. A great card, a great super sub. Could start, obviously. Uh, he's good enough to start if you can get him into a team. That's a little bit harder, though. But, yeah, a great card. I, there's nothing more I can say about it. It's just definitely worth it. 10 out of 10 worth it in terms of value. But I'm going to call it there. I hope you did enjoy. If you did smash that subscribe, I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.